Are you paying competitive wages? I have three reasons why paying competitive wages can benefit your company. Number one, finding and training talent will cost considerable time and resources. Now we all know that. So one thing that's going to suffer is that production is going to suffer. Another thing is customer service queries respond, uh, respond to in time. Uh, that's going to suffer. And existing staff feeling that they're overburdened with more work. You just don't want that. Number two, talent is an asset, not a simple business expense. Now, there's a lot of business owners that that's all they consider is just a business expense. They, you know, and they don't want to spend no money on training and a lot of other things. But, boy, you know, you have to if you want to stay in business and not have a constant turnover in employees. So you have to remember that your employees are your brand vision, identity, and the industry reputation. That's how important they are. Number three, showing you care helps build loyalty. Boy, that couldn't be any truer. So, you know, many uh, workers will stay on the job for more than just the pay packet that they receive. You know, many will stay because of flexible work arrangements, uh, staff benefits, awards they can receive, you know, gift certificates, you know, all those things, they, they build morale. They really boost it. So, you know, you want to be doing some of them things. Now, you know, if an increase in wages for your uh, employees is not feasible for your business, show that you care in other ways. And what I mean by that is just offer simple benefits such as paid time off, PTO. That's a simple benefit that you can offer. Now I want to leave you with this one last thing. When we start thinking about competitive wages, we have entry level wages. You know, that's typically something that's, uh, that's uh, under one year of employment. Now, the national, uh, there's a recent study done for uh, in-house providers and facility managers. And what they found is that the national average for entry level was $12.50 to $14.50 per hour. So hopefully that helps you. And also on the other side of the coin is where you have your experienced workers. This is uh, uh, em employees that have more than one year employment. Now the average wage there was from $14.50 to $16.50 an hour. So hopefully that information helps you when you're, when you're thinking about your competitive wage. Now also the thing that you can do for your area, if you have doubts where you need to be to be competitive, do market research in your local service area. You know, just take the time to do it. Um, you know, you'll be able to retain more employees by doing so. You're gonna know exactly where you're positioned in the market and you just, you, you know, uh, data is the number one thing that we have to have for our business. So just take the time to do it and uh, you'll be really uh, thankful that you did. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, click on that like and share button. And uh, as usual, if you haven't uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. Thanks for checking in and we'll see you next time.